all right guys so yes 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 it's time for another model model lace front and this one is called holly and as you can see right here she is like so shocking and red but she's actually really really cute however she is available at one of my favorite sites which is sisterwigs.com and you can pick her up there there are other colors besides this one but yes she is an invisible part and of course i did go ahead and tweeze some of this unit prior to wearing her and as you can see i did apply some of my concealer now if you see right here i am applying some bobby pins because the combs are not in the right place so the combs are basically by where the part is and a girl loves her wig security so yes i need to put in some bobby pins just for the sake of security but other than that, let's go ahead and style this unit. Like I said, she is an invisible part, and I did have to tweeze a lot of her. So what I'm going to be using today to fill in my thin edges is my favorite topic, hair building fibers. Normally, I would use my strand maximizer, but prior to strand maximizer, there was topic. And topic, I will tell you, is just the same. However, it is less, um, it's just cheaper, way, way cheaper. So I want you guys to know that. You can pick this stuff up at Walmart, Target.com, Sally's. Just Google it online and you can get the entire kit, which comes with the spray nozzle, the comb, the DVD, the filler fibers for $24. If you want to spend more, then you can check out Strand Maximizer. But yes, yeah, so I love that stuff because it makes my edges look a lot thicker. Opposed to that, I do love to use this here, which is the e.l.f. all over cover stick. That gives me the perfect scalp complexion so it makes my scalpage look so realistic which I do call it and that is just basically um, the concealer that I would use on my wig to make it match the complexion of my scalp so here I go I'm just going to fill in or just basically pull out the curls of this unit brush my hair use a little bit of hairspray because it does work for any type of hair but the unit is a really, really a cute unit. You know, you do need to style it to your preference, and that is what I've done. It kind of reminds me of, like, old Hollywood glam once you style it a particular way. I went way out of the box with this color, which is fine. I really do like the color a lot, especially from the way it kind of, like, goes from one color to the next, which is really, really unique. Let me tell you, model model or model model, a model model has really, like really done a lot of different styles lately and they have really stepped it up so I give that to them and that's why I like to do their units right about now but you can always check out sister wigs for the latest units that they carry for model model amongst others and yes of course it's time for a selfie so I hope you girls enjoy this video let's get into the finished look of this and of course I will list the color below because I've just forgot offhand what it was but yes check out sisterwigs.com girls Okay, guys, so this is the finished look of the Model Model Invisible L part wig called Holly in the color OMBG, which is ombre burgundy, and she is available at sisterwigs.com. So it reminds me a lot of like an old glam Hollywood type of hairstyle. Depending on how you style it, I went ahead and did something totally different than the actual model because... You just got to work your own magic to a wig sometimes. So I do like the color. It's, it kind of gradually gets a little bit brighter, which is not too much for me. But, you know, I don't think I would wear this color, like, all the time. Though it does kind of go well with the makeup that I'm rocking today. But I don't know if this is a color that I would rock all the time. So let's get into this wig. First of all, it is an invisible part. And when they said invisible, they never lied. They did not lie. I did have to tweeze this unit because I do like a part. So that was the one thing that I really, really felt the issue or the need to do also the combs are situated right by the part and that gives me like some type of <sighs> I kind of get nervous if it's not pinned down so I did use like some bobby pins on the side as you seen in the video because a girl needs her wig security at all time okay so other than that the wig is really cute the curls are very big and loose and that is the one thing that reminds me of like the retro glam and listen this works on every type of hair texture whether it be human or synthetic Aussie instant freeze and aerosol can is my go-to favorite and I will spritz this 
all over and it will actually hold my synthetic wig in place but I do like the way that I style this this is like a really cute unit um you can use heat it is heat friendly up to 400 degrees but you do know once you do that you put heat to it the longevity of the unit is going to like diminish it's not going to last as long but for the most part, she was really simple to blend. This time around, I did use my Topic Hair Building Fibers. A lot of people ask me what's the difference between this one and Strand Maximizer. There's really no difference except for Strand Maximizer is a little bit more pricey except for the nozzle, especially for the nozzle. So you can save like 15 bucks with um, Topic. And Strand Maximizer's fibers may be a little bit thicker. Um, a little bit thicker, but you know what with this it's the same consistency I've used it for months and months So, you know, I have both so I would go back and forth But you know for the price point I would definitely pick up the topic, but they're both really really great products So yeah, you can look online for that So I decided to do this red burgundy ish color wig because it kind of went with the makeup look that I have going on today And I will have a video posted up of that for you girls, but other than that She's really simple. You can pick this one up at sisterwigs.com amongst other units by Model Model I have been doing like a lot of model model wigs lately like on some realness, but they have changed their like I don't know what you want to call it their whole styling process So I give them kudos because they are moving on up So the hair is really loose and it's super bright in the back area, which is cool. I do like it It's something different something totally out of the norm for me, but I do like the way it is actually styled of course, you are going to need to pull out some of your own hairs in the front perimeter to get this to look as natural as possible. But like I said before, if you have thin edges, make sure you get yourself a hair building fiber like Topic or Strand Maximizer and just so on and so on. So yes, yeah, stepped out of the box with this red one today and I really am enjoying it. And so yes, you guys, all the information for Holly will be posted for you girls below. Let me know what you think of this synthetic do right here. Make sure you check the info box and if you want to save 10% on your purchases at sisterwigs.com make sure you check the link below my uh, coupon code will be posted so that way you can say 10% and as always make sure you rate comment subscribe thumb this video up if you enjoyed it and you can also check out sister21.com which is the sister site to sister21 and that carries nothing but cosmetics so I'll see you girls and guys on my next video stay diva and divalicious